Welcome back as we work to connect with each other and with Jesus. We don't like being deceived or tricked. In fact, if we ever feel like we are, then we get angry. If we ever encounter a situation where it was a, a bait and switch scenario, we get frustrated with the person or the group that we feel was being deceptive. Now the church has to be careful that we don't fall into that type of category. Of, hey, come to this event and then we preach to people or condemn them of some nature or guilt them into doing something else. You know, we're sharing the love of Jesus Christ as our mission. But in my opinion, the dirtiest culinary trick are raisin cookies. When I, when I see a raisin cookie, to me it looks like, oh hey, it's a chocolate chip cookie, which I find very good. I enjoy chocolate chip cookies. Now, I'll eat a raisin. I mean, I can eat them, but that's not dessert to me. And if I get excited about dessert, then I get frustrated when it's not, and I feel like it's just a dirty trick. I mean, God doesn't like tricks. He doesn't like us to deceive others. In Psalm chapter 5, verse 6, it says, You will destroy those who tell lies. The Lord detests murderers and deceivers. Now, I'm not saying we need to be paranoid, that we need to go through life wondering, oh, am, am I doing what I'm supposed to do? I'm challenging you to live an authentic life. When we live an authentic life, we make mistakes. But one of the things that happens when we make mistakes, we admit it. We repent. We change. We own the mistakes that we make. We also honor God with all we're doing. I mean, and, and we have to be careful that it's not about me. It's about God and serving Him. But it's also about others. It's also about making sure we're honoring them. We're serving them. We're validating them. Because it's not about me. It's not about what I can get. It's not about tricking others. It's about serving them in the name of Jesus. God doesn't like deceivers. And nobody else likes deceivers. We like pure, authentic followers of Jesus who admit when we're wrong, recognize that we make mistakes, know that we can do better, and help others experience the love of Jesus. Stay connected to each other and to Jesus.